Deep in the heart of one of the most enigmatic forests of the world, the Madagascar rainforest, there roams a creature so elusive and deadly that many fear even mentioning its name. Neither a cat, nor a monkey, nor a weasel, but the devil of the jungle, they call it, as it defies categorization and exists as a mystery that perplexes scientists and laypeople alike. With claws honed to dagger-like perfection, teeth sharper than any blade, and a lithe yet powerful form, this mysterious wonder reigns supreme over its domain, a predator feared by all who encounter it. Meet Madagascar's absolute demonic ruler, the Fulsa. The Cryptoprocta ferox, commonly known as the Fosa, reigns supreme as the largest carnivore native to Madagascar. The meaning of its very name, hidden anus, referring to the anal pouch that hides its anal gland, speaks to the twisted and otherworldly nature of this creature. Despite being famously regarded as a beast amongst the natives of Madagascar, this animal is one of the most unknown creatures on Earth. With a body of pure, sinewy muscle, the fossa is a blur of motion, capable of running down prey at breakneck speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Also, the creature's wide-open eyes and slitted eyelids adds to its ferocious appearance to create a sight that strikes fear into the hearts of even the bravest of its prey. Apparently, it resembles a demonic feline with a tail that matches the length of its body and adds to the set of the predatory attributes that help it climb the trees like a monkey. Although it's only 15 to 26 pounds in weight and 2 to 2.6 inches in length, excluding the tail, it possesses a grip that can crush the life out of its prey once it has intimidated them. Like all true hunters, Fosa preferred to cloak itself in darkness under the cover of night while hunting. That's why it's been considered nocturnal for the most part, but recent scientific analysis has shattered this myth. Yet the very form of this beast has sparked controversy, raising questions about its ancestral line. It is said that it's evolved through a convergence of various species following the recurring unnatural crosses between diminutive cougars, monkeys, and civets over the course of several years to imbue it with a blend of their most formidable traits. Nevertheless, it let it be known that the scientific facts have struck down these hypothetical analogies for now, and the least we can ascertain about this mysterious creature is that it belongs to the Eupluridae family, the closest carnivorous kin of the mongoose. However, the eeriest part of the Fosa's mysterious attributes is the animal being unidentified for so long. It is strange indeed that this beast reigns as the undisputed king carnivore of Madagascar, yet we know so little about it. Experts speculate that the Fosa's elusiveness is as a result of its endemic nature, confined solely to the island of Madagascar. The reason stated is that the reason of Madagascar has been cut off from the world for over 88 million years, stretching back to the age of the mighty dinosaurs. This extreme geological isolation has given rise to some of the most bizarre and otherworldly creatures to survive and, as said, undergo endemic evolution, with Fosa being one of them. But the isolated forests of Madagascar proved to be paradise for the deadly fossa, because amidst the lack of mammalian diversity and the absence of big feline predators, this creature, despite being small, sees the throne as the king of mammalian carnivores, and that too in a ruthless fashion. Not only this, fossa justified its position as well, with bloodlust in its eyes. It would ravage literally anything with a beating heart, indiscriminately either day or night. It stalks its victims on land and in the trees, leaping and bounding from branch to branch. And what makes this creature truly fearsome is its choice of prey. For most of the time, it only goes for the toughest of catches, even larger than its own stature, displaying its competitiveness and aggression. Though being open to eating anything lurking around, Fosa too has priorities. Almost fully half of its diet consists of lemurs and other primates. But it doesn't stop there. Lizards, rodents, birds, and fish are also fair game. In its epic chases for prey, the long tail aids in balance as it moves between branches. Its semi-retractable claws and flexible ankles rotating up to 180 degrees, coupled with razor-sharp canines, make it a precision instrument of death, forcing its prey to flee until it succumbs to the ambush. 
when it set its sights on a lemur, as aforementioned, often choosing the toughest among the group, even if it's larger than its own body and stature. This ferocious foxa relentlessly pursues a lemur perched high atop a tree, with a vice-like grip on the branch. The foxa moves with effortless precision as it advances towards its prey. The lemur, sensing the danger, attempts to flee, but with no other option left, jumps off the branch, hoping to find refuge on another. But the confused creature fails to find a new foothold, and plummets to the ground below, yet lands safely. Being the apex predator of the island, foxes reign without any legitimate contenders to their throne. Whispers of crocs and ground boas capable of devouring these beasts may linger, but no confirmed sightings exist, rendering them nothing more than feeble threats. However, when it comes to mating, males must engage in a barbaric battle with their own kind. These encounters are marked by guttural growls and vicious claw strikes, as each male seeks to establish its dominance. And as if that wasn't enough, the fossa's dexterous ankles allow them to effortlessly swing and pounce on their adversaries, adding a merciless edge to their already fearsome arsenal. Though savage in their treatment of other animals, fossas have shown a peaceful demeanor towards humans, with no reports of serious harm inflicted on individuals so far. However, captive males may occasionally bite, but that's not a major concern, most animals would. Yet with their nasty appearance, the people of Madagascar have spun a web of horror folklore around this creature. The most interesting of these tales is that of the Trent's evisceration. Set against a preface of backwardness and isolation, where credence and black magic runs high, the villagers believe that the apex carnivore can induce a trance with a lick before disemboweling its victim. Though unauthenticated, the locals' accounts paint the folks as a terrifying predator. Rumors also claim that the folks have feasts on the corpses of innocent villagers in the nearby graveyards, fueling a deep-seated hatred and leading to the senseless slaughter of the elusive predator. Numerous reports have revealed that the Fosa is regularly hunted and consumed as bushmeat, with a shocking 57% of villagers in the Makira forest partaking in this barbaric practice of using slingshots and snare traps to kill this already endangered species. On the other hand, these creatures, facing dwindling numbers, have adopted a polyandrous mating system that's rare but no less merciless. As mentioned earlier, the male foxes must fight for their chance at a mate, engaging in ruthless battles that often end in the death of their opponent. Because the female chooses the strongest of the lot first, and by first I mean she ends up mating with literally every candidate but the stronger ones first. Moreover, the female selects a tree near a water source with branches strong enough to support the pair during the process. This tree is used repeatedly for years, each time the partners mate. The victorious male mates with the female first, but up to eight remaining males linger near the tree, waiting for their chance to satisfy their primal urges. Yet the polyandrous mating is not the only weird thing about the folks' fornication. The structure of their genitals, especially the male penis, is a stigma as well. The male phosphorus penis has a backward-facing spine that creates a complex copulatory tie lasting for hours. One female can spend weeks up in a tree taking multiple partners and may return for more with the same mate. After mating, partners separate and the phosphorus lives a solitary life. However, the female bears up to four offspring who stay with her for a year before venturing out into their own. Fosa in captivity can live up to two decades and reach sexual maturity at three to four years of age. During mating season from September to November, females produce only two to four pups a year, a meager number for such a twisted creature. The decline in the Fosa's population, however, is not due to underproduction, but rather due to a loss of their natural habitats, leading to their designation as vulnerable on the 2008 IUCN Red List. Reports indicate a 30% decrease in the FOSA population from 1987 to 2008, with an estimated adult population of fewer than 2,500. Masoala National Park and Midongi Sud National Park are believed to host around 500 FOSAs, but this may be an overestimate. Therefore, the vulnerability highlights the urgent need for habitat conservation and restoration, and to the FOSA, we can only hope that they appreciate our efforts to save them from their own natural habitat destruction. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.